What's up guys? Grayson here. Yes, this is my cute little bunny rabbit, Grayson. Um, we're going to pick him up because he can't come to Mississippi with us. Oh, speaking of Mississippi, let's give you guys a rundown. So I'm Jock Sinak, if you're new here, and we have Tim behind the camera. This is C4 Nation. Uh, we're all about, we're some Cajuns. Dude, chill, chill out. <laughs> we're some Cajuns who are all about catching, cleaning, and cooking. That's what our name is, C4, 4C. We own a big place, I don't, I don't know the exact size, in uh, Greenwood, Mississippi, called the Promised Land. Um, and, we're, and we expand on it, and it's a giant duck hunting. It's all duck hunting, but there's also about 20 acres or so of sunflower seeds, which is why we're, and dove season opened up this Saturday. Today is the Tuesday, the day after Labor Day, or whenever y'all are seeing this, it'll probably be like a while after Labor Day. But we're heading to the airport, and we're going to go dove hunting. The Honda Jet. It seats four plus what? What? I don't know why this seat is here. That makes five, and then we have the toilet in the back. Let me take the camera. It's filming you right now. Yes, I know. And then that seats six, and then it seats two pilots, and I'm one of them. One of the youngest pilots around. Yes. Jocks, so where are we flying to? Uh, Green, uh, Greenwood, Morgan City, Mississippi. <laughs> All right, we just took off. Jock and Paul flying the plane. That's home and below us. Heading to go a little, do a little hunt. What you say, Jock? I love flying. I haven't flown. I haven't flown in a very long time, so this is very exciting for me. Oh wait, I have. Oh wait. Uh, yeah, ground control's called, yeah, the Morning, guys. Tim Moore here with Jock Sinak. He's getting hooked up. It is about 6.25 in the morning. We're about to begin our dove hunt. Jock is going to put on the head GoPro cam. on the head cam so we can see how he's shooting. I'm going to be standing behind him, and we're going to be running with the drone. I'll show you And then we got Mr. Billy right here who's got it all hooked Mr. up Billy, for him. Good morning. The champ. Hey, before we go, let me show y'all my gun. It's a, a Beretta Youth Model 20 gauge. I like to use, for my ducks, I like to use Boss uh, 20 gauge 3 inch. And for my dove use, I'll be using some Winchester 2 and 3 quarter. Uh, seven and a half shot. Seven and a half shot. I also have some six shot that I have to use and get rid of, so. I might right. shoot that at the far ones. Depends how they're flying. Let's go hunting. Straight ahead. I'm flying right in front of your face. Got him. Nice, nope, dude. We got one. Point at the. Look, look, look. Well. They slipped away. I really don't know how those got away. Yeah, that's all right. Cause I... Oh, nice. Oh, good shot, Jock. Bam. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, come like you're going right. Right in your face. Got him. Nice. Nope, but we got one. Here you go. Show us what you got, Jock. Uh-oh. Nice. Morning dove, I think. Yeah, nice. Very good. I see you. Yeah, I see you. Mm. Oh, my God. Ah! oh, you smoked them. God damn it. I got to go get that All one. All right, go get them. Man, you dusted him. You dusted him. Tough very, little bird. Very upset about that. Tough little bird. Can you hold my phone? Yep, for sure a can. Oh, uh, 
One, one, two, three. I think we have six. Four, five, six. Oh, seven. Nice. Nice. Seven. Beautiful. Not a bad, not a bad start to the morning. Heck yeah. I like it. I love it. Double. You were working on that double ball. Well, I rolled one. You did. That was pretty cool. Yep. Oh, jeez. He snuck up on us. Okay, after we were rudely interrupted by those doves that we uh, to totally killed, uh, <laughs> uh, we didn't even get to shoot them. But uh, that's out of the question. If I don't feel comfortable with the shot, right behind you, a single. Come on, guys, I'm trying to make a speech here. Actually, you know what? Y'all do y'all thing. But if I don't feel comfortable with the shot, I'm not going to take it because I don't want to waste a shell on a shot that I know I'm not going to Speaking of comfortable, yeah, you were comfortable on that one. I was very comfortable might swing on back. that one. He might swing back too, Joe. Yeah, I'm watching him. But I don't want to waste a shell on a shot that I know that I'm not going to make. Smart hunting. Very. And another thing, I like hunting like by myself or with one other person or two other people because I don't like hunting with a bunch of people because it just gets crowded and annoying and everybody has to make their own shot and everybody has to do their own little part and everybody gets in everybody's way and somebody... Might end up getting BBs flying over their head, which is why I don't, I don't, I don't like hunting with any more than three people. And and I like hunting in a pretty small blind. I don't like the big blinds. He snuck up on us. That dove snuck up on us. He deserved to get away. If Jock yeah, would have got him, so I would have been impressed. I tip my hat to that one. That's right. I, I give that one full respect. <laughs> he should be exploded right now. But he put the jets I on. I mean, he literally landed right there. Right there. Like, Human. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he that one cheated death. He I'm did. I was really, impressed. Like, take my hat off in respect for that one. That was pretty cool. Live long and live long and prosper, Dove. You did well. Yes. Invincible dove. That was an invincible dove, all right. Nice, huh? My uh, 15 doves, because Tim wasn't Tim wasn't able to hunt uh, because of his shoulder, so we got my 15, which is my limit. Uh, now we're going to take them to the skin shed where Mr. Billy is going to uh, show you all how we clean them. We're going to put them on the pit. How are we going to cook them out of curiosity? Uh, we're going to make them in a marinade overnight and then we're going to bake and wrap them and we're going to uh, put them on the pit. All right. Same thing. We got uh, you take, take the, the bird, hold it upside down. You take the thumb, you press it underneath the breastplate right there and you separate the back, the legs and the neck and the head from the breast, all you got left is the two wings. And you, you take the wings and you twist them, breaking them loose at the joint. Some people cut them, I don't do that. I don't like sharp edges on any of my stuff. You see the way I cleaned up. I picked the whole thing and I cut everything at the joint. If the, if the wings broke, I go back to the next joint. And then when you get through, you got one breast ready to be baking that? right like Mr. Tim said, it's still oh, yeah. warm. It's still warm. It's still warm. It's almost that's, like a uh, heart. That's as fresh as you can get. Oh, it's going to be delicious. <laughs> All right, so let me give it a try. So, as Mr. Billy says, you grab the dove, put your thumb in right underneath. I'll be doing something. You separate it. So you only have the wings left. And then at that point, you find the joint and you twist it. Look how easy that is. It comes right off. Beautiful. Same thing. Grab the other wing, add the joint, twist it. Comes right off. And then feel skin back. Yep, feel the skin back. 
and you've got a gorgeous piece of meat right there. The jock's gonna be cooking later. Bacon wrap. He's gonna marinate this baby. What you marinating it in? Y'all gonna see. Actually, right. y'all gonna see right now. All right. We're just getting over here to jocks. We got the dove catch clink. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, that was what right in the face. Boss? That was right in the face. <laughs> What's up? What's yep. up? Look at this. Yes, Holy sir. cow. That looks fantastic. Come talk us through this. All right, I'm a little out of breath. Because mm, I've good. been running all over the house getting nerf guns. Whew. But um, I've hit the bacon with, my dad said hit it with a little lemon pepper. So you can't argue with Faja when it comes to cooking. This so, is true. As you can see here. I'm just gonna take the bacon, wrap it, and then I'm gonna take this toothpick, stick it through the breastbone, and boom. Bam. There you That's go. gonna be mine. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Now, how long have you marinated them for? Well, roughly eight hours. Okay. I don't know, maybe more like six. Yeah, get it in there. Good job. Nice. There's nice. one that won't have bacon on it. Hold on, and. All right, guys. So we've got the hose right here. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Our pit set to 355. What is this pit? I'm not really sure. Nice. It was given to us on Christmas. Excellent. So, so how long are you going to cook them for? About 10 minutes, you know? Yeah. we got to get the bacon cooked. So we're going to time lapse the rest of this. All right, well, we're back. We've been cooking for how many minutes, Jock? Uh, around 20, but our heat has got to The flavor, because I'm not gonna lie, I just sampled one. <laughs> so good, so good. And I'm not bragging, but guys, if y'all have like even like little, uh, y'all can do this recipe with like deer meat or uh, like duck breast or or turkey, wild turkey. Our deer, our, our we said deer, or even chicken if y'all have some uh, chicken. Well, let me tell y'all, this, other than uh, the tuna steak, I don't know. I know I say this a lot, I think it's time to stop saying this, but this is, might be one of the best things that we've ever cooked on this channel. What did you say to them? Uh, yes, we're about to find out. We're about to find out for sure. But I can tell you just a little sample I had. I'm starving right now. So we're gonna see y'all inside. Wait, 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 oh. wait, wait, wait. We had a little uh, friend come over. Thank you, friend. Bam. All right, guys. What's up, y'all? We've just sat down from Jock's Dove Catch Clean Cook. These are all the doves that Jock shot. And we're about to do a little sample. You want to tell us about what we're about to sample, Jock? All right, guys. So the first thing, wait. Ooh. You got to separate the bacon for the dove. Oh, jeez. I wanted to try it with the bacon, but I can separate. Okay. All right. Understandable. All right. Let's get a little bit of bacon. Mm-hmm. And peel that super tender dove breast. Oh, wow. Dude. Wow. That is unreal. Mmm. This little bitty one was really cooked perfectly. Well, guys, I can tell you this much. This was an extremely successful, fun dove catch clean cook for my purpose. Well, actually, I made up a name while we were hunting for the sale. Oh, hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Oh, he's hungry. All right. 
Well, Jack, come see. Well, let's get you a little bit of dove and a little bit of bacon. Here you go, buddy. Eat it all in one bite. Let's see what Jack thinks. Thumbs up, yeah. Nice. Thumbs up. Thumbs up from Jack is always a. A plus. Wow. A plus. You're the greatest chef ever. Oh. Thanks. I believe it. Mm -hmm. So you fan? You made up a name? Yeah. A shoot, skin, and sear. Instead of a catch. Triple S. Cook. Triple S. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I think Shaq would be very appreciative of it. Would he ever? He doesn't know he's missing right now. Uh -uh. The seasoning you poured on at the end? Oh, yeah. That barbecue seasoning really gives it a nice final touch. Mm -hmm. Guys, thank y'all so much for watching. This is one of my favorite videos that we've ever done. Um, we're going to finish this. This is... Words cannot describe how how good the uh the sauce is yeah, true. it's like a sweet and tangy not really spicy but kind of spicy and then the bacon the bacon just says hey you're good enough already but i'm gonna take some good and smack you with it That's right mm -hmm. and guys next week we're gonna be putting out a teal shoot skin Shoot, shoot, no. Pop, pluck, and pot roast. Oh, pot, pluck, and pot roast. Triple P. Mm. All right. But that's all I got for y'all today. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what uh, content y'all want to see more of. As always, Catch Clean Cooks. I really enjoyed this video, and we hope y'all did too. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.